this is in the policy that Kami has a copy of, is to ensure that kaimahi, you know, are kept safe from the COVID vaccine. We're back for part two. Now, this is the email that I sent to Sonia and Daniel. Um, I also have a lot of other Oranga Tamariki email addresses I should send it to, but then we'll see, eh? They're all management emails. Um, good afternoon, Sonia and Daniel. Um, it says here, yeah, it has come to my attention that Sonia Wilson has, act, has contacted Karma, whom I am a support person for, not a representative, in relation to a content creep published on multiple forums for maximum accountability and transparency, namely YouTube channel CKA Mark, Pinnack and CKA Mark Backup. By the way, you missed one. Um, other platforms you have missed are Facebook, BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, Pinterest, Blogspot and more. Um, below in red was forwarded to me by Karma and I am curious why you are harassing Karma over something she has no power or control over. Especially given her recent loss in her family, your threats of privacy commissioner must be quite upsetting for her and shows a somewhat further level of insensitivity on your part. Which is true. And then I, um, I attached the email that was uh, sent to Karma that I read out in part one. Then it says, um, my email is clearly stated in the description of every video published, so why harass Karma? Is she in some way connected to any of these YouTube channels? Also show, also show clips with Jacinda in them. It would be just as futile to ask horse teeth or any other subject featured in the 3000 plus videos to have the clip removed. It is only myself that, administer, that administers these and other channels and platforms and can only presume this was a subtle form of intimidation and harassment directed at karma. Sonia, as far as I am aware, you are not legally trained to correctly interpret the Privacy Act 2020, let alone to start making allegations of breaches. I might ask you, Sonia, do you like, do I look like an agency? Do I? Do I look like an agency, Sonia? Um, and are you aware that the Privacy Act 2020 applies to agencies and not individuals? Please explain what expectation of privacy do you have when acting in your public capacity? As far as I am aware, none. You may also be ignorant of the fact that your consent or authorization is not sought or required. Please seek legal advice to clarify any delusions of privacy you may be incorrectly believing you are entitled to. See, your right to privacy ends when my right to seek, receive and impart information and opinions begins. Sorry. Um, if you don't like it, go and change the law. We'll wait for your CE to come out with another policy. It's just disgusting the way you guys are treating your employees. Um, I say, as we all have the freedom and right affirmed that under New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 section 14 to seek, receive and impart information and opinions of any kind in any form and being a party to the communications, I have every right to record any public servant or self -re or representative or state representative without their consent or knowledge, as I have done now for over 10 years with any interaction I have had with any government agency. And then I supply them a little link to the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act, so they've got that. Um, I record any interactions with council, police, courts, prisons, and any other, uh, and any and all agencies. Um, if you are suffering from delusion of privacy while acting in your public capacity, please seek help or employment in the private sector. IPPs 3 and 11 apply to agencies, not myself. Again, seek legal advice to avoid appearing ignorant of the law. As Section 25 of the Crimes Act 1961 states, ignorance of the law is not an excuse. And then I supply them, as you can see here, Information Privacy Principle number 3. You might want to take note of the third word in Section 1. If an agency. Okay? Not me. Doesn't apply. Uh, we'll keep going through. Now this is the rest of part th of uh, the principle 3 and then I also attach information principle 11 and again you might want to look at the second word in section 1 of this one where it says an agency 
Okay, not an agency. I'm sure you've got that by now, huh? Um, then I attach the rest of that one, and at the bottom, I can appreciate your concern about private information. So please explain what private information of yours or Danny's you believe I have published, because I haven't. Y you give out your name as a public representative, okay? That's public information. You work for a state sector. You are liable, just like any other Crown agency. If you go and look at the Bajant case in 1997. Anyway, um, so please explain what probably, yeah. I mean, I do have a lot more information about you and Danny. However, as I respect privacy, I have not publicised that. That's fair enough, isn't it, people? Wouldn't want me to do that. Look at this damn cat. Oi, you. What are you doing? Being a good boy. You'll be a good boy. Come up here. What's he doing? Come on. No, oh, ow. Come on. You're my buddy, aren't you? You're my buddy. Varian's very affectionate, aren't you, buddy? Thank you. You're a good boy. Say hello to everyone. Yeah, well done. Yes, good boy. Alrighty, yo. So, um,. Yeah, that's that one. Then I carry on with, um, I can also appreciate your attempt to have the video removed via frivolous privacy complaints against CKA Mark, CKA Mark Backup, and Pinnick. Again, you missed one. Um, however, as YouTube face blurring tool is not is an operative, um, I have remastered the clip and blurred out you and Danny to avoid any further frivolous privacy complaints or further frivolous complaints made in an attempt to remove the clip from the public sphere. This will be uploaded to numerous platforms. Please feel free to make a complaint to the Privacy Commissioner as they have zero control over my content or publications also. Publicity, <laughs> Privacy Commissioner that you've got no fucking power over me. Um, given Karma is waiting out her termination period pending your CE's decision on the COVID policy, it is beyond disgusting that you request anything from Karma, especially given she has no control over anything I do, and neither herself or Aaron have any issue with my publication that I am aware of. However, I must compliment your tenacity in attempting to censor and infringe on my rights, even though your efforts remain vexatious and frivolous. There was no mention of or of, I'm supposed to say of, there was no mention of confidentiality or objections to recording. Feel free to review the video for clarity if required. Your request for these videos to be removed is denied, and your attempt to file privacy complaints will only ensure it is published further. And I can easily ask many like-minded YouTubers globally, which I am in contact with, to also mirror the clip should you continue to try and censor and infringe on my rights. This will ensure the clip remains public. Your further correspondence may also be published, uh, be publicised, showing your and in conjunction OT's attempt to hide their bullying and abusive behaviour towards its loyal staff. So to be clear, neither yourself or Daniel's authority or consent is requested, required or needed. If you believe otherwise, I am more than happy to re review any further information supporting your delusional thoughts, beliefs on that subject. I have one request of yourself and Orangatamariki. Do not further harass Karma in regards to this recording. She had no prior knowledge or control over that recording, and given the appalling manner herself and other staff members have been treated, I am yet to decide if further productions or publications surrounding this issue shall be published. Show some respect if you wish to receive it. Warmest regards and have a fantastic day, me. And then I put a little notice at the bottom here. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. Reserve any right you wish, just as I shall. Okay, so yeah, seeing Oranga Tamariki and now sending my videos around the place, thanks, you know, helps the, the view count. Regardless, I don't care if you like it or don't. Um, yeah, thanks very much. Uh, notice, all correspondence shall be published on multiple platforms for maximum accountability and transparency of public servants um, acting in their public capacities. Note, this is not only recording 
this is not the only recording I have regarding this issue. Should you continue to harass karma in any way, further contemplation will be given as to any further productions or publications being released. Please cease and desist from causing harm, karma, any further alarm, distress or harassment for completeness. So, we'll see how that works for them. But you see, what Sonia did, because they're smart there, what Sonia did is instead of forwarding the email to someone named Lauren, um, she emailed her reply instead and emailed me thinking she was emailing Lauren. Gotta love that. Um, having read this properly, now I see he has remastered and blurred Daniel and I now. Well, thank you for acknowledging that, Sonia. You know that you are now blurred out. There is no likeness of your image anywhere there. There might be on other videos. It depends on how persistent Orangutamareki wants to be towards my rights and me exercising them. Further you push, it's, it's like squeezing a grape. Squeeze too tight, like Miyagi says, squish, just like grape. All right. Um, so yeah, it, it, and then she yeah, says, having read this properly, now seems he's remastered it. Um, Nami, he, Sonia. So clearly it's Sonia, not Daniel, that's been making all the privacy complaints. I would have thought that while they were working at work that they had more important things to do with their time than watch YouTube videos and file privacy complaints that are frivolous. Um, the blurring will counteract any further privacy complaint. Um, so, tough. And I can always blur out more if there's an issue. Um, so that was from her. And um, that's about it, I believe. You've seen everything else here. Yep. I've shown you all of them. Alright. Um, I had another gentleman down in uh, down the South Island. A mainlander. Um, I'm a mainlander through and through. Born and bred in Timaru. Um, oh shit, I'm a poet and didn't know it. Anyway. Um, yeah, he got rung up. For two years he's been getting harassed by police. Um, didn't know what to do. So to all of those people out there that are getting police harassment, showing up on your doorstep, you know, for, for no good fucking reason other than just to be intimidating. Um, and especially considering the uh, new laws that are coming out where they're going to start making it for any employee, whether it's uh, paid employment or volunteer, part-time or full-time, you must be fully vaccinated. You must have your first vaccine by the 1st of June at 11.59pm. And then you must have your second vaccine by the 1st of August and your booster by the 1st of October. So which means after the 1st of October, I expect to see more pressure coming. Because gone are the days where they'll give you Heineken or KFC or money or you know, even a petrol voucher. Gone are the days where they're paying nurses a $500 extra a night to do their night shifts. Now they're going to start enforcing people and start charging some fucking money back to them and helping the old tax coffer get richer, government consolidation fund. So that's going to happen too. So um, yeah, my advice to anyone being harassed by police is very, very simple. Trespass them. You have rights in your private property not to be harassed. Trespass them from your property. If they breach a trespass, more than once, it's criminal trespass. Alright? You have the law on your side to protect you and your property. And do not put up with bullying. So my first advice to anyone with interactions with police coming around is to trespass the entire operation. New Zealand police in total. Trespass the lot of them. Now you may be thinking, well shit if I trespass the lot if a burglar comes and you need to call the police. The way that works is if you ask the police as, a, as the property owner to come back to the property because you need them for some service, um, then the trespass notice that's issued becomes void. So you can, they still have to show up if you call them. Um, they're not breaching the trespass act because even though you, you, you as the person that issued that notice are now allowing them on, which will make that notice void. Once they're fucked off again, trespass them again. Alright, so that's the simple solution. 
don't put up with bullying from police. Um, go and learn your rights. Go and study things like the Criminal Procedure Act, the Criminal Disclosure Act, um, Court Proceedings Act, there's the New Zealand Bill of Rights 1990, Human Rights Act 1993, Privacy Act 2020. You know, there's, there's over 2,000 different pieces of legislation, you know, and you know, Mr. Toupe wearing Dilip Rupa might turn around and go, oh, you're just playing around in their jurisdiction. Oh, you're so dumb, see, because Dilip, if you don't get what he's saying and he wants to give you shit, Dilip will give you shit back. So, I'm just keeping him in the uh, old chat mode so I can watch what he's up to. But anyway, I'll leave you to it. You have a great time, and I will catch up with you all later on. See ya.